And Storm Center 7 meteorologist Robert Gotro joins me now. And Robert, you have the track of this deadly storm. Yeah, that's right, Tori. Now, at this time, I had not yet moved to the Miami Valley, but I was keeping track of this system, watching the professionalism of the Storm Center, storm Center 7 team from afar while in Texas. The system began producing severe weather on the evening of December 10th and then the morning of December 11th across numerous states. Four states in particular were hit the hardest, and this is a map of all the storm reports from that night. Now the blue dots are the severe wind reports, the green dots are the severe hail reports, and you'll notice the line of red triangles stretching across these four states. Those are the tornado reports. One supercell in particular tracked across four states, including northeast Arkansas, the boot heel of Missouri, northwest Tennessee, and across a large swath of Kentucky, including northern Kentucky. It tracked 350 miles over a period of eight hours. Were this storm to move into the southwestern part of Kentucky, Near Casey, that's when we began to see the greatest devastation with the tornado gaining strength, acquiring wind speeds of 190 miles per hour, which put it, which put it in the EF4 category. That was near Mayfield, Kentucky, and over 20 people lost their lives. Now that I'm a part of this team, I can tell you we always have our eyes on the risk for severe weather, and you can count on us to tell you exactly what you need to hear and without the hype. You can read more about this twister specifically on our website, whiotv.com.